Oh, okay, so this road is closed because of uh, because of this. Fancy a swim? Hey up, hey oh. <laughs> So this is my friend Brian. Me and Brian have been away together on a few cycling trips in the past, but this last week we decided to embark on our biggest challenge yet. The plan was to scour the internet and find the cheapest price possible in Europe to fly to with a one-way ticket and we were going to ride home. We searched Skyscanner for hours and ends, scouring Europe from east to west until eventually we found a little airport in the south of France called Limoges on a one-way ticket. Okay, I just realised that Limoges definitely isn't in the south of France. It is classed as a southwest central region according to Wikipedia. Geography was never my strongest subject in school. We were like, perfect. Let's go to France, 22 pounds. And then I tried to add my bike. Cheers, Ryanair. 60 quid. 60 quid to take a bike on an airplane. That's obscene. Especially when you can take a surfboard for 35. But anyway, we weren't gonna let that deter us from what we wanted to do. I put it into the Strava route building app and I figured out it was exactly 1,000 kilometers from the south of France in Limoges, back home to where Brian lives just outside of Wigan, which is where my car was gonna be left. And it was perfect. We had seven days uh, to do that, which is 142.85714 kilometers per day. Quick maths. But we didn't wanna do it in seven days. We wanted to do it in six. All right, guys, time to get this show on the road. Goodbye, little doggy. See you next week. Goodbye, Sam. I know you're in your kennel. Goodbye. Okay, so the first part of the trip is I've got to drive uh, to Brian's house. He lives about 15 minutes from me. I'm going to leave my car there, and then we're going to get a lift together uh, to Manchester Airport. Guys, literally straight onto the plane. That was potentially the most hectic 40 minutes of my life. We made it. <laughs> oh, it's wet. It's wet. We've made it to the smallest airport in the world. This, this place is one terminal, one gate, and when we arrive, we're the only airplane on the airfield. So now we're going to build the bikes up, and the adventure begins. All right, just loading the route up. Leg number one of the journey. There we go. Boys and girls are ready to go. The bike is built. 1,000 kilometers, six and a half days. Let's go. You ready? So that's day one in the bag. This is our little Airbnb situation for uh, day number one. We ended up doing about 95k today. By the time we set off from the airport, it was like half past four in the afternoon. So we only did about 45 minutes in, in the darkness, which I think for, for the first day, you know, get the first day in the legs, it was good. The first day was just about easing into things. Um, also, foolishly, we didn't bring any food with us. We thought we'd just stop for some dinner on the way, but both of us forgot that it was Sunday, which means in France, everywhere's closed. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go to bed hungry tonight. So that was it, day number one in the bag. And I think it's at this stage where it just completely hit me exactly the task that we'd taken on. We'd arrived in France with absolutely no clue what we're doing, no food, no accommodation books. We managed to find this Airbnb whilst en route to our destination. There were so many uncertainties at this stage of the trip, but what we did know is we bought two one-way tickets, we boarded the plane, we flew one hour, 15 minutes south, and we've got seven days to get home. Come on, Brian, it's time to get up now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, little doggy. Goodbye. It's Lulu for sure. We're leaving our Airbnb for day number two. We've got quite a long day ahead of us today, but I think first things first, neither of us have had a decent meal since about 12 o'clock yesterday afternoon, so we're just going to find food, whatever that may be. <laughs> Proxy, you are our lord and saviour. Found a couple of croissants. And ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you from my year seven French days, bibliothèque, that means there's a library in there. 
So that back there, those croissants, they were just our appetizers for breakfast. We made it up about 20 km to the ride into the town of Chauvigny. Chauvigny, don't really know how you pronounce it. Hopefully we're gonna find something a little bit more substantial. Because honestly, I'm still hungry. Two croissants ain't doing it for me. Uh, I mean, that place looks closed. Oh yes, we found a cafe that's open. Food. Oh. So you, you've got your, you know your roads, you've got your, you've got everything planned yeah. out. You know yeah, yeah we've, got, we've got a route plan on the, on, yeah. the, uh, on the computer, so. Yeah, that's fine. It's just that if you weren't sure of anything, you know, we, the, the road sort of 50K south, 50K north, all this region. So we bumped into this lovely chap that told us a few hints and tips about the local area. But two coffees and a croque monsieur later, we were refueled, re-energized, and we are ready to take on the world. So that was last night's dinner slash this morning's breakfast slash today's lunch done and dusted. We've just set off again on the bikes and we've come across the first, uh, the first, well, it's a Super U, the first supermarket of the trip right now. And as you can see, guys, it is, it's raining, but according to my weather app on the phone right now, it should not be raining this 10% chance all day. Cheers, France. Cheers. But we got some cereal bars for some food on the road. This, uh, this crist crystalline tropical, tropical water or whatever it's called. And of course, we got the Harry Bow for the inevitable bonk later on. Dirty dishes in the sink. We've been laying here for weeks, weeks, weeks. I'm not talking anymore. It's like we're scared of trying. So different from when we started off. So we had half an hour of rain back there. Thankfully, though, it's cleared up. The roads are drying out nicely. We've got a nice kind of cross cross headwind today so not necessarily a block headwind it's also not that strong so we're ticking away the case nicely done about 60 got another 110 to go until we get to tonight's accommodation things are looking good today guys a couple of Shetlands what about it we're not talking anymore it's like we're scared of trying so different from when we started off no we're just like think it's time to call it quit Take me back to Mexico, that can cloud sun will turn the sun or hide on me. Want to hide with me? Take me back to Mexico, that can cloud sun will turn the sun or This is what happens when you get when you do one too many sprints with pannier bags on. It becomes loose and you have to stop and tighten it. <laughs> We need to remember we're doing this for fun, we're not racing, Brian. <laughs> the closest supermarket to where we're staying tonight is about 12 kilometers. So instead of going hungry again, we decided to pick up some food and we will get it home by any means possible. <laughs> I mean, it's this French to come. The baguette straps to the back of your bloody bike. And don't worry, guys, I'm pulling my weight. I've got the ham and cheese strapped to me. Tonight, Brian, we will eat. Well, dine like king. <laughs> So we're using commute, uh, commute route builder route, which take, has taken us down some amazing roads so far. But since we got to the supermarket, I just put into my Wahoo app uh, our accommodations address. And the Wahoo app has a thing of taking you down gravel roads and cycle paths. So right now, we're ending the day with a little bit of gravel. So this is tonight's accommodation. Okay, not exactly this room, but um, we're basically staying on this amazing little farm uh, in the middle of absolute nowhere, about 20 kilometers from Le Mans. And we're in like the stables, which have been converted upstairs into uh, into bedrooms and stuff. So yeah, another good day on the bike. I think we did about 170K today. Kind of first, first proper day, first big day. In around six and a half hours, most of it was dry. So yeah, we're making good progress on our quest back to the UK. So we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Either we can just do a big day, like 220K and get back to Cannes and get there an overnight ferry back home into the UK, or we can split it up into two days and go to Cherbourg. But we don't really know what to do yet. We're trying to figure it out right now. Maybe we just see how we feel in the morning. That could be a good option. It's a plan. If we feel, if we feel good, we just send it straight to Cannes. <laughs> day number three. I, uh, this morning I've annoyingly woken up with a bit of a sore throat, so I'm gonna wear my uh, my neck warmer. Hopefully it's gonna help me a little bit today. We're about to set off for day number three though. We've got about 140K to do today. We're currently eating a ham and cheese sandwich. This is uh, this is breakfast this morning, living the high life. <laughs> we are about to leave the stables that we stayed in last night. A little bit of a weather update. I mean, right now it's dry. It rained overnight and it's like pretty wet on the floor and stuff, but I mean, hey, 
It's dry. I'm not complaining. Okay, so day number three. This is where things started to get a little bit more interesting, and we were like, okay, this is real. We're actually doing this. This is the first day of bad weather. We literally, right now, guys, coming up, we have three hours, three straight hours of downpours, uh, of wetness, of rain, just general bad winter weather. Basically, we were getting the back end of uh, Storm Lorenzo, which was passing our west. We were getting the back end of that weather front. So, you know, one minute we're riding along and it's pouring down with rain, the next it, it stops raining. But the issue is, you know, you're, full, you're in wet kit, you're riding on a fairly cold day. So, you know, being wet kit on a cold day just makes you even colder. And morale certainly took a hit. And it was just one of those days that you thought, this ain't gonna end and I might crack. So we decided to stop after about three hours of riding. We just stopped this local, uh, this little restaurant in just some little village somewhere in the middle of absolute nowhere, like most places we're riding through in uh, this side of Northern France. But uh, we decided to stop for a bit, for an hour or so to get some food and uh, let the rain pass, which it has. Tried to dry up as much as we can and we're about to set off again. I think the first 10, 20 minutes of the ride right now are gonna be pretty cold. But thank God the rain has stopped, man, because that was a very unpleasant, Three hours. Brian's already shivering. <laughs> no, this is gonna be a cold two and a half hours, mate. <laughs> okay, this afternoon, morale is taking a turn for the better. Brian's got the music on, we got a little bit of AJ Tracy live and direct, keeping us going, keeping the spirits high. We're into like the last 40k of the ride today. It's been fairly flat, kind of undulating a little bit, but the last 40k is just up and down. We're currently climbing. Woo! How'd you feel? Wonderful. <laughs> Today's shorter than yesterday, but I think already it feels longer than yesterday just because of the rain and the cold weather at the start, but at least it's stopped now. And I think it's, I mean, I was gonna say, I think it's gonna be dry until the end, but if I look over to the left, I no, don't look too happy over there. <sighs> I guess I deserve it. But only 27K and we will be there at our destination. Okay, that's day three done and dusted and in the bag. We're in another little uh, kind of farmhouse extension, stable conversion accommodation again tonight. Sweet little Airbnb find. We're about 150 kilometers south of Cherbourg right now. And today, guys, is the first day that we've made it to our accommodation and the sun is still in the sky and it's not pitch black. A little bit more of a modest 140k today. We've got a longer day tomorrow to get to, uh, to, to Cherbourg, so we thought we'd do a bit of a shorter day today because we don't catch the ferry tomorrow night until like 10 o'clock in the evening, so we can afford to do a little bit of a longer day. As you might be able to tell, I'm starting to lose my voice, so uh, yeah, I think I'm getting ill. Sick. breakfast this morning keeping it within the french spirit pan au chocolat or three there is progressively getting worse as you can probably tell i can't speak too well but at the minute i feel, I feel okay i feel okay so i figured now would be a good time to show you the bags that i brought with me on this trip first off i've got my woho uh, frame bag this is basically like the bag that i'm going to be using where like, everything inside is the stuff that i'm going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis so, like for example some chain lube, my GoPro, some inner tubes, some, some, some mini tools and stuff, and obviously this camera that I'm filming this right now, but the main bag that I'm gonna be using on this trip is the Aeropack S that's been hooked up by Tailfin. Uh, this is the carbon fiber edition. I wanna show you guys exactly how easy this goes on the bike. So there's two different dropout options, one for a standard quick release skewer, the other, which is what I'm using, is for a 12 mil through axle. It simply clamps around the through axle bolt each side and clips into place like that. And we do the other side. And then finally it attaches to the seat post. Now this clamp fits anything from like a standard aluminium seat post like what I've got right now, up to a three inch aero seat post. So yeah, pretty universal mount. Super, super easy system. As you saw there, it took me like literally 30 seconds, probably less to get that on the back of my bike. And it is now ready to go for another day of hacking. This is how most of the days start. I've been here for about 30 minutes, sat waiting and Brian's still not ready. Some of us have work today. <laughs> We're only 40 minutes late. We're only 40 minutes late. So we're riding through a pretty historical part of France today from the Second World War. We're in the Normandy region. We're heading to one of the most northerly French coastlines the town of Cherbourg, the ferry port of Cherbourg, where our quest across France will be complete and we'll be back, and we'll be back in the UK. 
So far I've had quite a favourable win today, like a cross tail. And I'm just praying to God it stays like this for the rest of the day. Got about 135k to go. And we've got the tunes playing nice and loud right now. Keeping us going. Bloody bust, is this McFly busted? McFly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how well the sound picks up on the camera right now, but it is becoming pretty gusty. So for the first like hour and a half of the ride today, we've pretty much had like a tail or a cross tailwind, whereas now, like at points we've got the cross tail, but at other points, like you just get a mad gust of wind that comes from the side. Luckily, like the bikes and us are pretty heavy, so we're not really going that far, but it's getting windy. So we're now on day four of our journey through France, and we are yet to come across a McDonald's until now. As an athlete, I probably shouldn't be recommending McDonald's, but at this stage, we didn't care. We were looking far and wide for any extra little motivation to keep us going, to keep the pedals turning, and to keep us moving forward. And there is a lot to be said for home comforts. And McDonald's certainly provided that. First time for Cherbourg, 77k. All right, so we're following a route for about 35. 40k from the ferry and it's brought us onto the D13. Is this a motorway or is it not? I don't know. I feel like it is. After nearly seven hours of riding, 170k, we made it to water. Look at that. Water. We've made it to the port of Cherbourg. This is where we're going to catch the ferry to all oh, pizza rear. I'm down for a pizza rear. Time right now is half past seven, and our ferry isn't until about ten o'clock, I think. So we've got a couple of hours to kill. So I think we're going to get some food, aren't we? We're going to get some pizza. Fancy a quick swim to to clean off. <laughs> so Brian's tire became a little bit soft after the part in the pizza house. I think we figured out why. France, it is pouring down, but we are officially leaving you, heading up the ramp into the ferry, but Brian is gone. Brian's dropped me. This is a big hill to get up, I'm not gonna lie, we're on the upper deck. Cherbourg, it's been a pleasure. Actually, it's not been a pleasure, it's just rained the whole time we've been here. So this is our digs for the night. Brian hooked us up with the premium cabin, rolling with the big boys now. We've even got a sea view, although at this time of night at 10 o'clock, there is not much of a view. So this is gonna be my location now for the next 10 hours until we arrive in pool tomorrow morning. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Just like that, 10 hours later, we're back on home soil. And I'm on the right side of the road. <laughs> oh, I've been in France too long. Also, a nice early start this morning. Time is currently 7 a.m. and I think it's gonna be a sick, sick sunrise today. Watching a monkey try and work out how to use yes. a simple machine. Got two and a half minutes, you ready? Look at this. The bike gets dirty. Last bike, one bike, packing. No problem. Come to Tesco. Use the car wash. Oh. I haven't finished. I nearly managed to wash the bike in two and a half minutes, but I still got a bit of soap on there. Just take another quid or should I leave it? Done mate. Done in three minutes. 20 watts I reckon that bike wash has just gained me with some uh, with a clean chain. But anyway guys, now that it's light, now that we've eaten some food, welcome to day number five of our bike tripping adventure. We're back on home soil today, we're back in the UK and we're heading north. We've got about 160k to do today. Uh, we did about 50 of them actually before breakfast, which wasn't wasn't ideal, but that's the first place we came across where we could get some food. So far today, I've got a favourable wind. I'm still losing my voice. I'm trying to talk as clearly as I can, but I apologise. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the White Horse of Westbury, which, I mean, forgive me, but I reckon it looks more like a dog than a horse. So that's 
day five done and dusted. Now when I was figuring out and working out where exactly we wanted to stay tonight, I had a look at a map and I figured out that one of my teammates, Ross, lives uh, towards Cheltenham. This is exactly 160 kilometers from the pool very poor. So it was perfect. I sent Ross a message asking whether it'd be okay for us to stay the night and he agreed. Ross, you absolute legend. He saved us 30 quid on an Airbnb. Now day six, we had a big, big decision on our hands. It was a 230 kilometer distance between Ross's house in Cheltenham and back home to our final destination. There was two options. Either we split it into two and broke it up into two days of 115 kilometers or we could just bloody lick the stamp and send it first class recorded and do 230 kilometers, which is a bloody long day. We figured out the best thing to do would be to wait for the following day, wait for the morning, have a look at the wind forecast, have a look at the weather forecast, and we would make the decision then. All right, you join us about three hours into day number seven, day number six, originally of seven, but we decided that we're just gonna crack on and get the day done today. From Shelton, from Ross's in Shelton last night, it's exactly 230 kilometers home, which in old money is just over 140 miles. So we figured we'd just crack on and get it done in one day. Ideally, so far we're on schedule. Not quite halfway, but we've got one, two, five K to go. And as you can see, it's been a wet one. It's been a very wet one. Thankfully the heavens have stopped. It's starting to dry up, but we're both absolutely filthy. Oh my god! I feel like I'm on the GoPro! <laughs> Can't even be angry at the car, that was so funny! <laughs> oh, at least it cleaned it up a bit. <laughs> oh, okay, so this road is closed because of, uh, because of this. Fancy a swim? Hey up! Hey oh! <laughs> Oh my god. That's <laughs> 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 oh, not too bad. <laughs> oh well, at least my bike got a clean. k to go that is like 31 32 miles so we have done about 110 for the day so far i think both of us are still feeling pretty good we will be fueled by harry bush strobes right now the lights just starting to go down currently in cheshire right now but we're on our way to lancashire let's go guys we've got a situation on our hands we're literally like 33k away and we've made it we've made it a thousand kilometers nearly a thousand kilometers through france and england and I think I've lost my slider. The strap just fell off and I've got I've only got one slider and I didn't I didn't hear it come off. Brian's gone to look for it, but I I don't think he's found it. Have you got it? Is it there? No. I've lost the slider. Oh it's there. Oh we saved it. We got the slider. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. 229 kilometers, 0.5. Eight hours, 20 minutes of riding. I'm gonna end it right there because guys, we have made it back to Brian's house, which is where my car is. Bosh, 1,000 kilometers, six days, done and dusted. I need a lie down and a lot of food. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.